That's good, Jamie. That's actually great. Sales sample. That good. And these ones? The boys wheeling and dealing. Yeah, we'll split the camera. I'll split the camera, that's right. What did it sell for? 400? Yeah. Nice. I'll tell you what, these boots aren't the worst. What does the sample sale? What does the sample sale mean? Oh, they just would have had them as displays and stuff like that made up on the thing. Oh, okay. But they're all written in there. So if you bought them, you'd never know. Yeah, right. Of course you wouldn't. Yeah. They're pretty decent. They're all like that. I don't even know if the other ones have got them on there. Sample, not all seven, seven. All sevens. Oh, they, for some reason, they only released sevens in sample sizes. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe it's to, fit the, to fit the mannequins or whatever that they put them on. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. So, I mean, they're all new or prior to be sampled. That, yeah. I'm worn. I mean, they're pretty cool. They are cool. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'm tempted. I'm tempted, though. Yeah. It's, a big, it's always big numbers around the area. It's 50 in. You try and list them up for 150. Mm -hmm. You reckon we should, hey? Yeah. Would you go 100? For Two of the tools. Two of the tools. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. I'll do it. Give that a go. Here he is. Are you legend? Always the best stand. Oh, uh, that's not true. Come on. How are you? Battery's not, not going to win you votes. <laughs> How are you, mate? Great to see you. Good morning. Mate, I need to buy something off you. Uh, you don't buy from me. I think you hate me. I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't hate you at all. I like you so much, I want to buy oh, off you. That's, oh, that's... I'm feeling so much better now, you know? <laughs> The heart is pumping. <laughs> You've been selling some stuff early or what? I've sold like four pairs of shoes already. Oh, that's good. You know me. I, Beat I me to it. Some stuff. You got the good got stuff. You. Oh, you got a booth, have you? Yeah, the good on one. Oh. You got, the, you got something. You got to get in early. Something, yeah, something. I know. No, but I don't really want them. If you want them, mate, you grab them. I don't know nothing about shoes. Well, maybe I should come over and have a look. Knows, you know, he's the encyclopedia, this is. <laughs> How much on these? For you, 10. 10? I'll do it. I need, to, I need to give you a sale because no, it's been a while. For you, for you, absolutely just 10. You're a star. Because I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. How have you been doing, bro? I've been doing well. Yeah. I've been steady. Yeah, um, videos, mate. yeah they're still coming out. Yeah. I don't miss. No. I don't miss. Bro. Doing well, bro. And the marathon running now? Got the marathon done last week. Yeah. Um, and you... you you got your, you know, you I was just short of my time. Oh, just short that time. Yeah. Still, man, you, know? I, you cross the finish line, it's it's good no matter what. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'd like to go in a couple of minutes quicker, but yeah. is what it is. You'll get it next year. I'll, I'm going to go again. Yeah. I, I think I have to. <laughs> as soon as I saw I, did, I wasn't going to get it, I'm like, I'm going to go back. Yeah. Got to do it again. Did you used to play AFL? Locally here, yeah. Yeah, locally I did. Um, and then I worked in it for a little bit. Yeah. Love it. Absolutely. You were working with the um, Suns. Yeah. yeah, I was with, with the Suns for a little bit. Um, just glued to it. Yeah. Watch it every week. It's good what you did, bro. How you left that and did this, bro. Yeah, yeah, this is fun. Yeah. And it keeps you on the coast as well. You've inspired heaps of people to do it, bro. Oh, there's so many down here, hey? No. It's awesome. <laughs> it's good to see you, though, man. You too, bro. Keep selling away. I will. Good to see you. Great job. I haven't actually seen it in this case before. I've never seen it like that. I reckon a true collector of Gilmore Girls stuff would want that desperately. Because you normally just get them like this. Probably not enough in it at 25. This show's really good. Dr. Quinn, medicine woman, but there's only seasons four and one. I need to try and find a few more seasons for it to be worth it. And that big thicker one, so it's gonna cost more to ship. Um, there's games, but I don't think they're worth anything. So for some reason, it was a pretty quiet morning down at the flea market. There were just less vendors than normal, so less opportunities for us to find great items. However, we did find the Ariat boots, and I went ahead and I grabbed both of these. I thought the $50 was a pretty fair price because Ariat boots, being brand new, can sell for over $200 in value. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've listed these boots up for $200 each, so 50 into 200. And within a few hours, these Ariat boots have actually already sold. So we've had a same day sale 
on these Ariat boots and we got $170 worth of the best offer acceptance. So I'm pretty confident that with this one selling, the other pair should go on to sell for a similar price. I might hold out for the $200 on that second pair, but that's an item for you guys to definitely look out for. They are selling lightning quick on eBay. What a really cool way to round out a successful day at the float. Okay, okay, okay. First in and the last out. Never tried to go the fast route. Marathon, not a race. Put in hours and I cash out. Game time been lit. So, Courtney is not in today. She sent me a message. Uh, she said that she's not feeling very well. She's got a bit of a head cold. And uh, she was just going to spend the day in bed. So, just means that this Monday morning is now a very, very big day ahead. And uh, tried to sort of combat that by sitting down this morning and I just wrote a big to-do list of all the things that we need to get done today. And I'm going to turn the camera on. I'm going to make it even a busier day by vlogging all of it for you guys. So, I think over the last few years I've learned about effort and impact. I think a lot of the big guys in the, in the business world that you, you learn from and try and learn things off. They'll always talk about trying to work on high impact tasks only and prioritizing those over the small stuff that really doesn't get you very far. I think a lot of the time over the last few years, I've always focused on those low effort, sorry, high effort. I'm still working hard, but they're not getting me very far. They're small impact tasks. So today we can't be having any small impact tasks. You know, Courtney not being here, I'm gonna to have to work on the big stuff only. So that's what we're gonna try and focus on today and hopefully we can get it all done. So we've had a total of 20 sales that have come through over the weekend. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty content with that because the sales numbers are looking pretty solid. And before we go ahead and show you the sales that have come through, I wanna show you the whiteboard and give you an update on where the numbers are at for the month of July. $6,722. Uh, this is day 15 right now. We're already sitting on $182 for the day. Uh, and then, yeah, I think we're, we're going pretty well considering we're halfway through the month. If you double it, that's going to be about $13,000. So well on track to go well above our 11 k for the month of July. So things are tracking along really well. We're listing $500 a day, but my anticipation is $1,400 worth of listings today. I'll talk to you about that a bit later. This also isn't sitting well with me. We've got a bit of a rule here in this office that we want to have carpet showing. So the fact that we've got all these boxes, all these shoes, all these DVDs that I haven't skewed into a tub yet, all this stock that we're yet to list up. I've got cardboard boxes over here that are just strewn off to the side. It's just, look, there's blankets in there. I don't like it, guys. I don't often, I mean, as you'll know, you don't see the room looking like this too often. So we're going to have to do something about that today as well. The first sale that I wanted to show you guys, a really, really good sale actually. Um, I'm going to kick things off with a bang here for the what's sold. We're only going to do a couple of items in this video today because I've got a lot to do as we know. Um, American Restoration, this is the Mega Collector's Set. There it is there, an awesome DVD box set that I found in a thrift store a few months ago now. There were some crazy comps on eBay for this thing, but I ended up listing it up for a much higher price than what it sold for. And I think a really good tip here is to constantly monitor the views and the watches that you have on your listings. We just weren't getting any hits on the higher price point. And I dropped it down to 140, and eventually within a few weeks of that price drop, this thing has gone on to sell. It's also off to the USA. Um, so $35 worth of shipment off to America, um, turns this into $175 worth of revenue. So it should be pretty easy to ship off. I will put it into a box because it's going internationally, but it's not a heavy one. Shouldn't cost me too much to get it over to the US. Probably gonna cost about the 35 that the buyer was charged. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we bought a big large allotment off Aiden. We bought out his uh, eBay store. He's a viewer of the channel. He reached out and we said, yes, we'll absolutely go ahead and purchase. Um, this has actually gone on to sell recently out of his haul. It was a $45 sale that we got for a bunch of steel case DVDs. None of them were worth anything on an individual basis. So we just went with a large allotment and we did the same here for this one as well. This is a Blu-ray bundle of Marvel movies. None of these are worth any amount of money. You would never pick them up in a thrift store, but we just went ahead and we did them as a big bulk bundle on eBay, and we got a $60 sale price for a Marvel fan out there that's grabbing those. So you don't need to discard any of the stock that you get if you're doing big, large bulk bundles um, worth a purchase, these big hauls that we grab. We can always sell whatever stock we get. Uh, it's just about doing it strategically, and sometimes big bulk lots like this uh, is the best way to go about selling them. Winnie! Winnie! Hey! 
Oh, weenies. How are you? How are you? The channel hasn't seen her for so long. Say hello. Hey. Oh, sweetie. Now, out of our video game wall, we had a total of these eight sales come through. Um, these are all pretty much our price points. We go from a $20 starting point all the way up to anything that can go for well over $100. Now, this one here um, was the best one. This is Gunblade Arcade Hits Pack. I can't remember the exact figure, but I think it was upwards of $60. Um, there it is there, complete with manual. So 60 bucks on that was the best, but we had 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. Um, so we're gonna put them all into some envelopes that I went and picked up from Australia Post earlier this morning. Uh, they are all gonna go into there, but some big, big numbers in the video games, nothing less than $20 worth of listing value for everything that we've got on that shelf. So some significant money ready to be sold in the video game category. They continue to sell really well. And I'll just throw the camera over the rest of the stuff that I'm doing. I've got a Pokemon card that's sold. I've got a Furby that went for about 55. This thing here, uh, Funko Pop sold for about $40. Um, these little horoscope um, bears, they sell for about 25 odd bucks. And then we've got some anime, some anime collections that are selling for about 40 odd dollars a piece that I'm putting into small satchels. So they've all come out of the haul um, that I was able to pick up off Aiden. So good to see the anime set selling in this sharp um, DVD collection sold for 30 as well. So uh, 30 for this uh, Blu-ray uh, anime too. So the anime actually do really well. Um, we've had four sales in the animes come through. Um, but it is a lot of media, guys, and a couple of little bits and pieces that I'm going to put into a box. I have to be really careful about when I eat because I want to go for a run at midday and my stomach is just always, always upset if I eat an hour before I run. So I've got about an hour and a half up my sleeve until I want to be running today. So it means I have to eat now. And I've got some sardines and I've got some rice. Don't hate on the sardines until you try it. Because sardines with sriracha and some Mexican flavored rice can't be beat. So two scoops of protein, a banana, an ice block and some milk is the way I'll do my protein shake. It's just a vanilla body science high protein. That's the one that I use right there. And uh, this should get me through until just after lunch, where I'll probably snack again around two or three o'clock before I'm gonna go to the gym and train legs uh, at four o'clock. So if I can get this food in, get back to some listings as well before I run, we should be on track for, for this day. I swear guys, don't knock the sardines until you try them. I'm a big fan ever since I grabbed them a couple of weeks ago in the shops. Um, I heard Nick Bear, I watch Nick Bear on YouTube all the time, and he says that he's starting to eat sardines. So if Nick Bear's eating sardines, I'm gonna start eating sardines. Um, I'm gonna list up all of these items right here, guys. I've got four pairs of shoes. I bought these in the flea market yesterday. They're some Nike trail shoes. A little bit of wear on the sole. I paid $10 for them, but I'm gonna go ahead and list them up for about 45 bucks. They were a women's size 10, so they should do pretty well. I had the consignment deal um, just last week. I put a video out about that. I've got a bunch of SBs I'm about to be listing up. These are the Paul Rodriguez 2s. Um, this is some dead stock, brand new condition, incredibly, incredibly nice shoes, these ones. eBay authentication tag already on them. The Paul Rodriguez 2s. Um, these are a size nine and a half. And I've basically decided that I'm gonna go with whatever Jason thinks that I should list them up for. He's the person that's given me these shoes to sell. I think that's the fairest way to go about trying to get rid of them. And he said that I should try and list these up for $600. So. That's what I'm gonna be doing. We've got these as well. These are the Paul Rodriguez um, Zoom Air Lows. I love the colorway on those shoes there. They're a US size 10 and a half, and I'm putting them up for $600 as well. And then I have another pair of Paul Rodriguez 5s. Uh, these are only $150 in value, uh, but there they are there, the Paul Rod 5s. So hopefully these shoes are gonna go on to a, well, 
we, I'm going to track the numbers basically because I don't know if we're going to get $600 on eBay for these shoes. The comps on eBay tell me more about three to 350, but I'll just track the progress, see how many watches we get, see if we get any offers to come through, and then I'm going to continue to liaise with Jason. Like I said, I just think it's the fairest way to go about it. Um, so that is my listing for the day. I've only got four to do, so that's going to be super quick and easy to do. Um, now, Everyone needs some form of entertainment when they're listing. And something I've never shared with you guys is what I like to listen to on the computer while I'm listing away. I list on my phone, so I have my laptop for entertainment. And Sam Sulik, he's a bodybuilder. Um, I watch Sam Sulik videos all the time. It's one of the great um, videos to watch when you're listing because they're a good 45 minutes long to an hour long. And he's just documenting his weightlifting journey. And it's in a, such a no fluff way of documentation that I, I just really, really resonate with. Um, so love watching Sam. But for some music though, I've got to, uh, if you guys, are, any of you guys are into your pump, uh, punk pop like I am, there's a guy called Alex Melton and I've just stumbled across his YouTube channel and it's awesome. It's all the classic hits. Like I'm a big Blink-182 fan and he just does a spin on Blink-182 songs in his own unique way. And he speeds them up, slows them down, just really just does unique takes on them. Um, so I'm watching a lot of Alex Melton on YouTube. So if you're into your punk pop, definitely give that a go. I actually think I want to put some Alex Melton on right now for these four shoes. I'm feeling a bit of music. I think it's eight days since I ran the marathon and I did a little 10k run yesterday and felt pretty good so I'm gonna make use of this 21 degrees pure sunshine some of the nice is you cannot get better conditions than this and we call this winter so the goal is to run the next six kilometers in 30 minutes and the tunes of choice will be bring me the horizons new album been a big fan of bring me the horizon for a couple of years but this new one that I've got out is an absolute banger so 45 minutes worth of an album should get me through this run. Legs are feeling pretty good. Definitely not the easiest run I've done. I don't often run at midday, so I think that, um, that tested me a little bit, but we got what we wanted to get, 456 split, 29.30 odd I think it was for time, so has a good midday session. Oh, I am wrecked. I just swing into my local thrift store on the way home and I found some DVDs on what was ultimately half price day in the DVD category. So American Restoration here, these are actually all going to be just a dollar each. So I thought that was a no brainer. This actually goes for 60 bucks, Frontier House, it's a bit of a rare one. So that was cool to find for just a dollar. And then I've got Dead Gorgeous going for about 25 bucks as well. So I paid $6.50, I came away with a ton. I grabbed the American Restoration because Season five and six are the toughest ones to find. So I figure that if I just have them in my collection and I can stumble across the season one to four, I'll be able to complete the set down the line. Uh, so definitely worth grabbing for $2 a piece. But Frontier House, who would have thought? I just saw complete series and then I saw on eBay it was going for $60. You pay two bucks for it in store. It took us five minutes. And that is honestly what thrifting's all about. A very, very cool find. This is also something I'm starting to pay a bit more attention to, vacuum parts and complete vacuums as well. Facebook Marketplace is a great spot to look for vacuums, but this Dyson brand is probably the best. Now, I had a look at the art number or the style code like you do with the shoes on this device, uh, but it was only going for about 30, so I left it behind. Spiral, I was missing season four. This one only goes to 25, so I left that as well. And I ended up leaving these really cool Adidas shoes as well. They were 25 bucks in store, and that's the reason why I left it. There were comps on eBay going for about $75, but the sell-through rate was fairly slow. So 
I'm feeling pretty content about how we're looking so far on my to-do list. Um, it's two o'clock, we've got two hours before I'm going to the gym, and I've got a couple more tasks on the to-do list. The next task is actually sitting here in the living room. You saw the steel books, um, the DVDs, they sold over the weekend, and we also saw that the Blu-ray bundles sold over the weekend as well. Well, Courtney was pricing up all of these DVDs, 205 of them, and unfortunately we couldn't make them into any bundles and they weren't worth listing up individually. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with those. I've gone ahead and I've looked them all out and the first thing that I do is I literally just count them all out individually and in total there were 205 titles. And as you'll see here, there's some that we often do in bundles but there wasn't enough for complete sets. So I've just gone ahead and I've, albeit I've just, yeah, I mean NCIS Los Angeles, that's a good show as well. Inspector Gadget, Inspector Gadget 2. You could sell these on eBay, it's just the average sale price isn't gonna be very high. So I've gone ahead and I've put them into this box. I've got all of these DVDs here as well as extras. It all adds up to 205 in total. And I'm gonna take some photos and put them on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. That's a pretty fair going rate for Facebook Marketplace as well. I often turn those over in about a week, or, or no more than a week, I should say. So 50 bucks, 205 DVDs. If somebody wants to buy them to resell, they can definitely make some money. Um, so yeah, hopefully over the next couple of days that will sell. But now that that's listed, it's another item ticked off our to-do list. I absolutely love writing these little to-do lists each day, especially on really busy days like today. Um, and again, just working off that principle that I spoke of at the start of the video, um, you just want to be making sure that you're working on those high impact tasks. And I did catch myself looking at some low impact tasks throughout the day and I've just caught myself and said, no, just do the to-do list and leave it at that. If you've got time elsewhere at the end of the day, you can go back to those low impact tasks. It's been a really big game changer for me over the last few months that I've been implementing this uh, and it's working really well. If I'm honest, this next task is my least favorite. I am gonna go ahead and clean up this garage. It has been a mess for far too long. Doesn't sit well with me. The rule of keeping carpet needs to remain. So I'm hopefully gonna try and tick this off in 20 minutes. We'll see how we go. Well, it's not perfect, but it's a whole lot better than it was. Just moved everything into the corner here that we still need to work on from a listing perspective. So tomorrow's task will be to try and list the majority of this stock. But everything else is all kind of put up at its shelf. I put the, uh, the shoes up here. Some of them are unlisted, so I'll quickly list those and put them back up there. I've got some empty tubs here, so I think once I've listed these shoes, they're just gonna go into those. Um, and then that rack will be completely full. Um, but apart from that, the room does look pretty clean. I could do a little bit more work on the cleaning tomorrow, but I'm happy with the way things are at. We can also cross the gym off that to-do list because I've just got back and I am absolutely wrecked. I think doing a run and a leg session the same day probably wasn't the smartest thing, but hey, at least it's done. Effort and accountability, that was the concept of today's video. All I have to do is edit this video that you're watching now and we have that entire to-do list crossed off the list. And that's the, that's the biggest impact tasks of my day that I needed to get done. And I'm safe to say that we've been able to get through and tick them all off, which is brilliant. So it goes a whole lot further than just an eBay business. This is life. This is just doing all the things that you need to do um, to get yourself to where you want to be. Focus on those things and let all the little stuff just go by the wayside because you don't need to be spending too much time on it. And if you are needing to spend time, make sure it's efficient, fast, and moving on to the next task. Um, appreciate you being here, guys. I'm going to leave another vlog for you right here to go and check out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do. We're almost at 30,000 subs and it'd be great to get there soon. We'll see you soon.